Hello viewers and fellow art addicts, it's James Conley on the bike, and today I'm going to uh, try to run around a little bit here in Bushwick and see some exhibitions and we're going to start out here at Clearing with an exhibition by Calvin Marcus. titled Were Good Men. Well, I didn't know what to expect. I just pedaled up and uh, stuck my head in here and uh, well, I was very impressed with the, what I would call a painting installation. Uh, I'll read a little bit from the press release. For his second solo exhibition with Clearing, Calvin Marcus has transformed the gallery space into a panoramic field of grass comprised of 39 new paintings. Each canvas is an enlargement of a crayon on craft paper study, an expressively executed and rich green oil stick over sandy brown grounds. And, uh, well, actually, I would call this Maybe toned down yellow ochre or even maybe Naples yellow grounds. The grasses are made with different levels of density, some so sparse that they begin to feel like body hair. Well, as you can see, this is, uh, this is a lot of painting and uh, I think each one of these are something like eight and a half by seven and a half feet, something like that. And probably about half of them, maybe more than half, are just these fields of grass, which, I don't know, in an odd way kind of put me in mind of. Uh, Cy Twombly. Now, I don't have time to go through and uh, talk about every one of these pieces. And in certain ways, I think it's almost better to uh, contemplate this work as one multi-paneled piece. All three of these are titled Dead Soldier. And it says in the press release that Calvin Marcus, born 1988, San Francisco, California, lives and works in Los Angeles, where he received his MFA from UCLA in 2015, the same year he had his first exhibition at Clearing. Well, I like uh, his, his use of color and, uh, you know, in many ways this does kind of make me think of a lot of the neo-expressionism that was happening in the, the mid-80s. Some of it was uh, coming out of Italy with people like Sandro Chia and Francisco Clementi and also the Germans. Maybe... Uh, Immendorf, Luperts, and Basilets. Uh, one of the motifs that I see him repeating in all of the uh, 
figures is the tongue. And all of these have their tongue stuck out. It's also interesting to think about the way that the uh, the panels of just the plain grass kind of play off against the panels with the figures. Like this particular wall. And uh, well, his use of the red and the magenta tongue and gums against this kind of pool of red blood. Marsden Hartley also did a uh, wonderful series of paintings, I guess, when he was in Berlin back during World War I. And he kind of uh, just abstracted aspects of the German uniforms and made some wonderful kind of iconic paintings. Okay, so we do have various nationalities. This would be French. I think also the fact that he's using oil stick for a lot of this really allows him to uh, basically make large drawings. You know, so the uh, the linear color of all these, or the linear quality of all these, is very nice, very spontaneous and I think maybe he even uh, might get a little solvent and uh, maybe mush some of this around like paint I'm not sure This is, I guess all of them with the soldiers are titled dead soldiers and all of them with just the grass are titled grass. This one says oil stick, cell vinyl liquid watercolor and emulsified gesso on linen slash canvas blend. Okay, so he is mixing something in there. Cell vinyl. It's the Union Jack. Well, this is a very uh, impressive and ambitious group of paintings. The red coats. So that was a look at the painting installation by Calvin Marcus titled Word Good Men here at Clearing, 396 Johnson Avenue in Bushwick. Well, there's a uh, whole little enclave of new galleries here on Johnson Street, so we're going to run into Signal. Oh, well, let's see what they got going here. Uh-oh. Got the lights turned down. Oh, dancers. Madeline Hollander's Drill. 
is a durational performance taking the evacuation procedure diagrams of museums, airplanes, universities, movie theaters, theme parks, and other public spaces and structures as the basis for a series of choreographic scores. Each performer enacts a discrete trajectory as described by an emergency floor plan, looping continuously from the given you are here symbol through one of the exits and then back through the entrance to begin again. Several deployed aircraft evacuation slides are suspended from the ceiling of the gallery and loom over the performers in the style of an aerospace museum display. Drill features Andrew Chaplin, Kayla Farish, Marilis Garcia, Katie Gadus, Madeline Hollander, Jeremy Pfeiffer, and Asami Tomida. Original score by $3.33. Ongoing performances of Drill will take place from 1 to 6 p.m. each Saturday and Sunday from August 28th through October 2nd at Signal. And I'm not sure, but I think this is a group of works by Adrian Koch titled Iris. Uh-oh. The dancer is broke out of character. Or maybe it keeps going out here in the yard. Oh. It's taking a break. These are all titled A Game. Graphite pastel and gouache. Sixteen by twenty five inches. And then we've got some of Aiden's ceramics. And it's nice, it's almost like a uh, Don Judd labyrinth minimal construction. Maybe Robert Morris? Okay, I guess they'll probably keep that up until closing time. Let's roll on. Let's go down the street to present company and we're going to run in and take a quick look at ambient occlusion featuring the work of Sonia Polistovsky, Clive Murray and Zachary Norman. Well, we'll come and take a starting sweep of the exhibition. In the virtual realm, ambient occlusion is a method of orchestrating art artificial light exposure and the subsequent shadow details on objects relative to one another in a shared environment. It chooses perhaps an act of subtle deception propels an otherwise imagined situation towards a prosthetic surrogate of reality. Okay, so, well, this is not exactly a uh, surrogate of reality. This is a piece by Clive Murphy titled Untitled Cross Brushes. And, uh, well, Clive has used a lot of ready-mades, so he's got some parts of booms and uh, this little chrome loop looks like we got a broom handle and uh, well, I like the illusions. This bundle of twigs kind of recalls a crown of thorns, maybe. It's almost a Christian iconography embedded in there. Okay, our photographer here is Zachary Norman. And I just talked to uh, Vince Contralda, the 
the guy behind the desk and he said that uh, Zachary teaches at Notre Dame. This is titled ARC HM 147 401 and 703 die sublimation prints on aluminum. Well, we're going to take a look at a couple of pieces by Sonia Bolofsky. And uh, I just had a, an interesting chat and found out some of the information on Sonia. This piece is titled Study for Bushwick Renewal Forms and Fragments. Plaster, cement, spackle, paste, shims, and on site materials. And uh, well, initially I just thought this was kind of uh, representative of a, a kind of a group of, or a sensibility that I've called Funkster Formalism. Uh, and then Vince explained to me that. Uh, Sonia was an artist in residence here at the gallery for about three weeks during the summer and uh, these pieces are kind of a response and the pieces from this uh, evidently Sonia is very interested in the traces of history and the architectural past and how especially in a place like Bushwick and just generally New York City, all of that is being removed and uh, developed. So part of the theme for this piece was uh, the old Rheingold Brewery. And uh, Brooklyn was known as the borough of breweries <laughs> and the borough, borough of churches at the same time. And I guess at one point, maybe around the turn of the century, there was something like 120 breweries here in Brooklyn. Anyway, uh, so Sonia cut out these sections and used a photograph of the Rheingold Brewery as a, as a guide for these forms. And uh, you can sort of see that she retained the sheetrock and uh, made casts of the lattice. And uh, she also created this piece, which is kind of like a, uh, a wall drawing where she took the form of the windows and then scraped away the paint on the wall in the gallery. We'll look at some more. Zachary's work. Genesis Collision. Dye sublimation print on aluminum, 16 by 20. I wonder if that's a reference to Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling. Just titled Genesis 2016. Oh, I like the uh, the narrow depth of field here. This is by Clive Murphy, Untitled Hangers, 2013, wooden clothes hangers, chrome rods, and uh, well, this is again made from ready-mades and it uh, actually made me think a little bit of uh, David Hammonds and the way that he would uh, go out and find uh, I think there were Thunderbird wine bottles and he would glue a bunch of them together and they would kind of end up in a circular form like this This is another piece by Clive, titled, Untitled Post, and uh, this is chrome Christmas stand, tree stands, 
chrome pole and matchsticks and I found out that Clive spent time in Europe and uh, used these matches to make drawings and uh, saved them up and now he's repurposing them with these kind of little geometrical structures that are hanging off this pole. We'll wrap up looking at a couple of photos by Zachary. This is top Genesis and Apples 2016 die sublimation print on aluminum 40 by 50 and uh, well those apples look almost a little too perfect I don't know whether he was photoshopping those or whether he painted them before he photographed them and, uh, and you've got this section of paper photographed on the bottom which kind of alludes to itself somehow is that the uh, the photo backdrop or is that the piece of paper that uh, the photograph was printed on and then it was ripped I don't know Untitled Still Life with Color Chart. And again, we've got our little section line across the bottom. This is A Frame by Zachary Norman, 2016. Dye sublimation print on aluminum 30 by 24, edition of three. Okay, viewers, well, that was a little run through Bushwick at the beginning of the 2016 season. And, uh, well, welcome back for the 11th year of the Calm Report. You know what to do, leave comments, criticisms, whatever. I'll ignore them all. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Do it! Do your best! Part of that too, you know. Thank but you. you guys so much. We appreciate Thank you guys. You. you guys can follow. Appreciate it, bro.